a great magician. Your clothes are red! What's going on guys, Jerk120 here, pro wrestling magician of Disturb Reality here to teach you a little card flourish that was used in the movie Now You See Me 2. They had to hide a playing card from security, so what other way than to make it disappear by back palming it. So, A, that's what we're going to learn today. Throughout the Now You See Me 2 film, you would have seen them use one particular deck of playing cards, the Theory 11 Red Monarch deck. But for this tutorial, we're going to use the Disturb Reality Alpha Kappa deck of playing cards. So in the film Now You See Me, they have this scene where they're trying to essentially hide a security card from security guards, believe it or not. And they do so by palming the card and, you know, they see the back, the security guards see the back of their hand, they're like, I don't see a card here, and then when they tell them to turn around, they push the card up, put it behind their hand to show the front of their hand empty, when really it's behind them. And then they end up shooting the card all around the room that's pretty elaborate and intricate. So, I'm going to teach you how to do this back palm. Part. Now sometimes you'll see this flash, which is why more often than not, if you're going to perform it live, you'll be moving your hand ever so slightly. So let's say you're getting ready to throw the card up in the air and make it disappear. You could just, whoa, make it disappear, but just this little movement will add, it's almost like a motion blur effect. So when you actually do make it reappear, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it's an easier cover up in case you are peaking a little bit. This is one of those uh, your uncle's magic tricks, but it can be very effective for a lot of stuff. I've seen Chris Angel use this trick in a performance where he went to go, he was on a motorcycle and he was riding the motorcycle and he had someone throw a deck of cards up in the air and he allegedly grabbed out of thin air the signed playing card when really he uh, had it back palm the whole time and on his way to the bike and w when his hand was up in the air he's just like okay throw the cards now and they throw the cards and he reaches up and pulls out this card so it definitely does have a lot of uses so the first thing you need to know uh, this is just my explanation and my opinion of how to execute the moves people might tell you to hold it differently there's a thousand different ways to do the same thing the way I do it is I have my thumb down low about half of a half, half, half of a half, and my index finger pinching that card. On this card it works nice and on bicycle cards. A lot of cards will have this kind of like mark that say, hey this is a good place to hold the card. So that works in this case, but a lot of other playing cards have this same similar idea or feature. So you're holding about half of a half and what what's really going to go into effect is you're going to trade it off by bringing these fingers down because the middle finger and the ring finger are going to come down and it's going to allow everything to extend upwards. So they come down just to place the card where it needs to be, roughly, which is right at the end of the fingernails there. And then these two fingers grab it like this. Essentially, I would practice if I were you, I would practice by just holding the card like this for the beginning. So once you have it here, you're essentially just going to straighten your hand up, but when you're doing it, you don't need to be super tight and bring your hands together. Just get used to the feeling of going from A to B to C. And again, don't need like a super tight grip when you're first practicing. You just want to be able to go from here. These fingers slide down to the bottom. These fingers grip around the edges at roughly the middle part of your knuckles. Middle knuckle. See the two knuckle slits? So like one, two, thir three joints, I guess. Or is it two joints? You guys are smart. Where are the fingers bend, you're going to do that and just get that down and you'll find you might be more comfortable being like up top or you might be really comfortable being like way down deep. Everyone's hand is different. I have a big hand. A lot of you are going to have small hands so it might be challenging which is why the wave is going to come into nice effect for a lot of you to cover this uh, to really perfect it. But 
to do it, you got it in the middle in the middle. You bring these fingers down. You basically remove your index finger and now you're gripping it with a two sweet sign. Fingers are down. Now you're gripping it just loosely like this. And then what's going to happen is you just extend up, open the hand up, and to close the gap you're just going to tighten your hands. But see, even this is a little too far up for me. In a perfect world, I'm probably like there to be relaxed. And then just bend the hands back down and re-grip it the same way you gripped it in the first place. These fingers slip down, get it in a rock out, two sweet sign, grip around the edges, thumb lets go, swing up. My hands are nice and relaxed right now because I'm just practicing. And then I can come back. Too sweet. Both in the movie and in the magic trick I was explaining earlier with Chris Angel, I believe both Chris and definitely in the movie they had this palm happen. So they palm the card, they're, Chris is walking to his bike with, the, with it palmed, and then at some point, boom, he switches and maneuvers it over. So it's like palmed, whoa, make it disappear. So all you, there is to do there, you just have it palmed. Hope that no one can see it. Careful of your windows. Don't you open up that window. So you have it nice and relaxed and palmed between the fleshy part of your pinky and the fleshy part of your thumb. Just relaxed. Hey, I don't have anything in my hand. I'm just gonna walk over to my motorcycle. And then grip it for the bike. Slide it up. Into the bullhorn's too sweet and open the hands. Whoa! If you get good, you can really get good at going from A to Z. I'm not good. Do as I say, not as I do. So once you have it here, nice and palmed, you should be able to slide that up with the thumb into the bullhorn position, float it over into this position, give it the little wave. Don't you open up that window! My windows are not good. I have long skinny fingers. So hopefully you guys have more luck with this than I do for the most part. I mean I can pull it off. Don't get me wrong. But you know long skinny fingers don't uh, help in my favor. So I have to work extra hard to be careful with my angles and uh, my windows. While you're learning this move, please practice it in front of a camera, in front of a mirror, something so you can see your angles, see the speed that you need to go. A lot of people are gonna be waving the card like this, trying to make it seem like it's blended in, but magic is slow, it happens slow, soft like a cloud, floating, floating, floating freely. I mean, even that was a little too fast. Floating, like a cloud, soft, you're a butterfly. And that is uh, what I'd suggest, camera, mirror, before friends, before family, before strangers. I'm Jerick 120 teaching you powerful magic integrated with social dynamics. Here on Disturb Reality, be inspired to learn, aspire to disturb, and always rise up. If you want to learn more magic tricks, subscribe to Disturb Reality now. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jerick120. I also have Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook accounts. Disturb Reality for more magic, Jerick120 for my personal stuff. Thanks for following along. Catch your ass down the road. Peace.